Lethal Company, the game that really kickstarted my channel, but I'm a little tired of remaking monsters. So I'm gonna create my own monsters. Now, if you don't know, this game is more of a horror game. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to lean away from the gore like most of my creations and create something completely new. So the first thing I need to do is get a sketch going, so let's go. This little guy is like this mountain creature. He basically comes out of the ground. Yeah, he's pretty cool. The first thing I did was mask out this mountain for the base of the body. I slapped that thing on there, then decided to put two more mountains behind him. I redefined its mask, and that looked pretty decent. Then I took this little cool guy, and I flipped it upside down. Once it was in a spot that I thought looked okay, I just started masking out the parts I didn't need. I then duplicated that bottom mountain to fill up the rest of the arms and the legs. Now that those looked eh, I started masking all the pieces of the mountains together, and that was easier said than done. Then using hue saturation, I tried to match the color of both of the rocks of both of the mountains, and I finally Finally started on the shadows. This is the part where stuff actually starts looking okay. Well, kind of. The goal with these shadows was to make the monster look kind of muscular, I guess. But that's pretty dang hard to do when you're literally working with some rocks. I then added some shadows to the back mountains because that was very well needed. And maybe I'm just bad at Photoshop, but this literally took forever for some reason. I then used this awesome tool called the Select Color Range tool, and yeah, this worked great. I masked out that waterfall and I put it in there just like this. I erased the crap I didn't need, and that looked pretty good. I then did the exact same thing for this one over here. Now using this model texture I just decided to draw in these little bushes for some extra detail then I started adding in these little baby trees one right here and two over there now it was time to actually make it a monster so I started drawing in the eyeballs I also drew in the mouth and then started putting some shadows around them Inside those little black eyes, I drew in these red shapes. Next, I used an exposure layer to make the inside of the eyes glow like they're evil or something, I don't know. I started putting the glow in, that actually looked pretty sick. And because there's glow, there needed to be highlights, so I started adding those in. My idea for the background is that there would be a nice sunset fading into a blue sky, and then there would be two little grass patches on the sides with a big hole in the middle like the giant just came out of it. I used these two grass patches for the two side pieces, then I cut them out like the monster just emerged from it. I then put in this rock to act as the wall of the inside of the ground. I then put in some mountain rock things for the background of the hole. Then I just put in some other mountains just to act as something to look at. Then finally I put in that sunset sky. Then I faded in this blue stormy sky at the top. I then started adding in some nice orange glow to the sunset. If you guys are photoshopping and you don't know what to do for a background, a sunset literally always works. I then started masking out the monster with this leaf brush so it wasn't so sharp. This actually helped a ton. Next, I started on some really sharp highlights and this looked incredible. This actually gives the creature a lot of just shape and definition. I then started adding a bunch of highlights to the foreground and this helped a lot. I did some final touches as well as a camera raw filter and this is our final product. I like this guy. I don't know if he's too lethal company like, but he's still a pretty cool monster that you could see just out randomly. Well, I hope you guys like this guy. I think he's pretty dang cool. And uh, tell me what you think in the comment section below. And let's move on to the next one. The Cyborg Bat. My idea for this would be that this random company once made these cyber bats in order to gain an advantage in military operations. However, they eventually started selling them to criminal organizations for money. These things were dangerous and deadly predators that would hunt anyone that they saw. Their enhanced echolocation and their razor sharp vision just made it easy to kill anything in their way. The first thing I did was use this bat as a reference and put him in. Then I switched out the wings because I didn't really like the wings of the other bat and put it right there. Once those wings were in, I decided to try to mask the bat and the wings together, and this looked alright. I then grabbed the cyborg helmet and put in his eye. That was only the first of the cyborg elements though, as I had to put in his helmet as well. I just erased the parts that I did not need and kept the parts that I did to make his own little cyborg helmet as well as his chest. I then made everything that same red color, as well as adding some nice shadows to blend everything together.
I masked out part of the cyborg stuff with the fur brush just to make it look like the fur is going over the cyborg suit. I then started adding some shadows to the whole thing. I got this brush metal texture and put it all over the wings. I then added shadows to each of the brush metal. After that I made the metal a little bit darker. And started using these tiny aluminum pieces to fill it up. This was just to make sure the wing didn't look so bland. I made these glowy parts red. Then I decided to add some highlights. I then added some nice little like wire things, added some shadows to them to make them look 3D as well. I then accentuate a lot of shadows as well as be making some more on the other wing. Had to put in a little bit of blood as well as a beautiful night sky in this building in the background as well as a really tiny moon in the top right corner i made that moon have a nice bright glow to it and then decided i needed to match the colors to the bat i then started adding a highlight to the bat I added this nice bright little like soft glow out over the top just to make it look like the light was bouncing off the bat. I added a motion blur and a little more shadows as well as a camera raw filter and this is our final product. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm sorry it's only two creatures. I was running a little bit short on time and these creatures took a long time to make. Plus I had to draw everything up. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one.